Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days of Valencia. It's me and JD Sensei. How are we doing? Just finishing up using up the concrete we got. Shouldn't last very long. Not really. All right. Missed one there. They could only do about 90 of these. So. Hey, but we maybe pass the first farm. Which is more than I thought I'd get. It's okay. I'll make another 4K concrete tonight. Okay, that'll do it. So, yeah, we need more. We need to finish this up. But let's go take a look at this. And then we'll move on with other stuff we're going to do. Keep looking at that tree farm going, you know, with hungry eyes because I'm going to want a lot of wood at some point. All right, we're going to give this shovel some work, too, because there's some places we need to use it. Okay, might as well get lunch, too, while I'm here. All right, let's drop off the stuff we don't need at the moment, which is the dirt, the clay, the sand stone, the iron, that don't need these type of frames anymore, and can probably put these on the back burner for now. Do not, oh, that's what I did with it. I was like, what did I do with these? I also want to bring these. And let's make another 100 wood frames. 100 should be right. Why am I doing it that way? I'm insane. Why not just type it in? <laughs> Duh. Hey, a little bit easier. How much wood does that leave me? Ah, 39.05. I'm still doing okay with that. All right. I can't decide if I want to do the mine first. Because if I don't do the mine today, I'm definitely going to have to do it at tomorrow. That's not debatable. So, uh, well, I'll give you an idea. My uh, Over here, I have... Another 2250 stone. That's purely for fueling, fueling those. But I can only make roughly about 6K more concrete before I run out of stone. And, uh, lady, shut up. Uh, before I run out of stone and uh, sand. So definitely going to be on the hit list here. Let's grab some food. Since she's bitching about being cold. Let's go ahead and uh, get a little drinky drink there. There you go. There you go. Put that away. All right. So. And of the way, now that we're cooking with bakers, and again, I have enough uh, stone to run through tonight. Not a problem. It's going to be later. I think I actually will do that first. Especially with the weather going to ass, as usual. Yeah, weather's going to ass almost immediately. All right, so let's fix up the mine. And what I mean by that is we're going to close off the roof portions where people keep falling in. Ah, this is still done. Okay. Yeah, see those two holes over there? We're going to close those bad boys up. So I don't have any more surprises dropping on my head. Which I'm fine with. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to uh, do a double pole up. And then we'll seal it up from there. Okay, there we go. Turn this on so we can freaking see. All right. So the first hole we got to fix is this. And that's a big one. All right. Let's go from the center. It doesn't really matter where I go. Let's start right here. And we just got to go a little bit at a time. Like so. One of these is going to be a permanent support pillar. Probably this one. I haven't decided yet. Can I reach it yet? Not really. Okay. Okay one. All 
That's about it. All right, so I don't want a mosh pit down here either. I was thinking I could do this from the top too, but I was thinking what might happen is if I do that from the top, I might collapse it. So I'm not gonna lie, not 100% sure how that works. Okay, back off a little bit. A little bit more, thank you. All right. Okay. Get a little support right here. Just upgrade this. Only has to be one. Doesn't need to be double upgraded or anything either. Pick this one up. This way I have some solid support up there. Let's continue from upstairs and see what we can uh, run into. I don't know why I ducked down. Sure. I keep doing that. Oh, I know. It's from another game. Like, why do I keep? I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm also freezing to death. Of course I am. Freaking god damn it, this weather. So stupid. Bright and sunny out in Arizona. Technically. It's supposed to be like Flagstaff, Arizona or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. Someplace like that. Oh, all right. I need to back you guys off a bit. See where we can start putting these in. If I need another support pole, I'll put one in. Okay, that's fine. For now, I might just put some extra weight on it at some point. Probably like that, you know. Remember what I said about pulling the dirt in? That. There we go. Let me just pick these up. Pull that dirt over a bit. Yeah, and then do that to kind of shore it up. Okay. There we go. Freaking rock up. I don't want to leave. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to ramp this, I think. Probably. To keep them from whacking on it. These plants are going to be a problem. That'll be an issue. Here, throw that in there. Okay. That's why I don't like using that. Son of a bitch. Come here! Pain in the ass. I should probably go along here. Let's just beef that up a bit. Here we go. Alright, then we can just do that. Now, again, it's kind of, normally I wouldn't do this, but it was annoying me. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Shoo! Away. Away, please. And get the shovel out of here. All right. Let's back this crap off so I can see where I'm building. Away. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to want another support beam. Probably closer to here. And again, this is just to keep them from falling on my head when I decide to come into the mine to do stuff. 
pay attention to where this hole stops. And again, we could just ramp it if we're worried about it. Okay. Get ye gone, you rude girl. Thank you. All right. Almost done running around here. It's another one of those things we need to bring it up so it stops being weird. I don't like that. Tactically, I could just wall around this, and the only way they'd be able to get into it is to jump over it, but not that big of a deal. Okay, except for this portion right here. Here we go. Let's beep this up a little bit. So, that's good enough. If I'm worried about it, I can ramp it. But, again, it might be in my best interest to throw another support pole up. Like, right there, let's do that from the inside. I only got 36 left, so I'm gonna let's make another 100. At least it's cheap. I'm gonna grab some free wood. And any eggs? No. I'm gonna leave that alone. Some trees down there, too, if I really feel like it. Like grabbing some. Alrighty. So then. I'm uh, probably going to want a support pole right here. Right here would probably be good. So I should be on this one. Oh, no. Actually, I was on the right one. Just pick this one up. Oh, that one here. And again, the support poles are just to keep the ceiling from falling on my head. I think I can get that. Yeah. Let's uh, see, that's a long way up. So, kind of want to make sure that this has some ground support. If I wasn't worried about the wood up there looking like it's going to be a problem, you know, the, the dirt looking like it's going to be a problem, I wouldn't worry about this, but... Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Okay. Perfect. There we go. This one's a little bit far away, but it's fine. Okay, let's get the hammer out. Let's continue to upgrade these. Also gives me something to throw some more uh, torches onto. All right, looks good. We got supports around here. That'll work. That'll work. There's another hole over here, too, but I think this one's smaller. Yeah, that should be fine. I should just be able to block that up with bricks up there because it's close enough so they can support each other. I think. 
Also gotta remember I can just tunnel that way. And um, if I just need pure iron or uh, pure stone. So I can always tunnel that way. Let me up, please. Thank you. All right, now we can go outside. Turn that off. Grab this. And we can do a little bit more work over here. It's not a super priority. It's just I really wanted to get a little bit of the mine work done to a point. But now that we have this, we can pull this over here like so. And there we go. Now we got support all the way to the bottom. So I'm not so worried about working up here. But I don't have to worry about Nimrods falling on my head, which is definitely a thing. I really don't care if this is upgraded either. I mean, you can do that. It's not really that big of an issue. You know. I could upgrade the outer edges, but yeah, if they want to, you know, top a dog on my head or something, I'm fine with that. Go for it, stupid. See how it works out for you. There we go, and then we get some love over here. And now yeah, it's, um, it's getting there. I mean, granted, there's not a lot of support right here. But there's more than enough support around here. You know. There you go. And then you can just go two or three at a time. Build them out. Hopefully not collapse it on my ass. Yeah, but I'm right on uh, solid support right here, so not worried about that too much. But again, the whole point was to keep them uh, from dropping that. Like, you guys have seen it where they spawn zombies on my head. And I look up and, uh, you know, I'm using the auger, so I can't hear them. Oh, for Christ's sake, go where I put you. Pain in the ass. All right, then we can come over here, and the rest of this can be reached from relative safely. safety. Relative. And then we'll upgrade whatever we want, if we want. Probably just the outer edge. Central part is fine. I don't really care about the central part. But... I'm most likely going to do like this you now. Just so if they do whack on it, one, I'll know about it. It'll give me a little reaction time. So again, they can't dig straight down. So it's not something I'm really worried about. And again, if I really wanted to, I could uh, throw spikes around it. Yeah, anything weird like that. It's just a... Uh, really bothered the hell out of them. Oop, that one's double upgraded. Didn't need to do that, but it did. Probably did do that one, too. All right, there you go. Again, it's open in the middle, so I can see it. Now, there's another hole over here, but I'm pretty sure this one... I can just deal with. All right, first of all, let me get rid of this freaking boulder that's in the middle of nowhere. All right, I don't want that. I want this crap. Turn that on so I can see, please. All right. Yeah, see, this is what I'm worried about. Things like this. Uh, probably, let me get rid of this boulder and then see where we're at. All right. Pick these freebies up around here. A couple of stones. Grab that. Well, we would if we could actually hit detect it. All right, grab that. All right, let's go out here and just 
dash out some of this crap. It's gonna make laying these damn frames a little rough. <gasps> That's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, for Christ's sake. I knew it was gonna be something like that too. It was like, and I wasn't even hitting anything. I was hitting, what you call them? Hi. I was hitting freaking stupidity. I was literally hitting grass and that fa that happened because it was like, that's what I was worried about though. Crap like that. All right, let me uh, clean it up. So this portion, I'll have to worry about another day. All this damn dirt. That's exactly what I was worried about though. If they were going to do some nonsense like that, clear all this dirt out of here. At least it didn't do much damage. But you can see why I was a little bit annoyed. Yeah, now look how much bigger this is. Or it could just be a dick and uh, do this. In the screw you category, I can just do this. Now, we'll go over here. Is this the, this is not the way. Where's the way? Way's down here? I know there's a weird way where there's two. Did I just lock? No, I did the right thing. Okay. So what we do here is, instead of having to deal with that one right now, we do this. Woman, if you would decide whether you're too hot or too cold, it would be amazing. Put that one there. This one here. There we go. And for right now. And now I don't have to freaking worry about it. You know? Now I don't have to worry about it. Now they can't come and get me. Uh, that's blocked off, and that's blocked off. This is not. I see that's a problem. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Yeah, this is an issue right here. Okay, I got enough left to sort of do this. Ah, it's a pain in the butt. There we go. And that should work, right? Nope. Ah, oh, this is a pain in the ass. It's just a weird, weird hole in the ground. Right there. Okay, so I can do this. Now get one in here. Yep, yep. And, yep. I didn't really need that, but okay. Looks like one in there, too, or no? I suppose it doesn't matter, as long as they, yeah, they can't drop anybody in. Okay. All right, so the mine is where I want it to be for the mole, for the moment. Let's uh, do this real quick, since we're in here. I'm so glad that didn't do more damage than I, I thought it was going to do way more. Here we go. And just in here for giggles. Nah. I'll deal with that later. Yeah, I can get sand and stone in here too. But again, I wanted it in a in a way. Excuse me. I wanted it in a way that I wouldn't have to worry about people dropping in my head. So if I decide to do the nighttime, uh God's sakes, the stupid temperature thing. Go away. Oh, it's so annoying. So annoying. It's either too hot or too cold. And I understand you can balance it out with clothing, but then you go to another biome and you got to redo the whole thing. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's freaking annoying. Uh, 
And the sad thing is, I've never, ever died of either one. One speeds up your food intake, you know, your food degradation. One speeds up your water. I think only once in this entire game have I not been able to find water. At all. It was a very, it was one of the first builds uh, when they first released it for console. So I don't even remember what uh, alphabet was, but it was one of the older ones. And I did an RNG map, and it was probably the worst map I've ever seen created. It was just like, I don't know, it spawned me in Wasteland, and it was like a ton weight. Not Wasteland, uh, spawned me in Badlands, but it was a ton of Badlands. And it never ended, and I never found water for like the first four days. I didn't die, but it came close to it. None of the loot was giving it out. It was weird. It was very early in uh, in console on launch. I heard you. Shit. I heard the other one freaked out because I wasn't sure what direction he was coming from. Boy, I will beat your ass. Stop. Oh, yeah. Somebody else is sneaking up. I knew I heard a couple more. I just wasn't sure where they were. You're done. Come here, stupid. Bring that damn chrome dome over here. I hear anybody else. I'm not actively hunted. Okay. All right, what you got? No, I do hear somebody. I... Oh, there he is. All right. Should be able to loot him. Uh, I would be if he had a... Yeah, there's a whole bunch. Fat bastard. I'll take the food. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, I got to start chopping these up. More than one. That is two. Nobody behind me, right? Okay, that's fine. Sounds like there's somebody to the left, too. Yeah, there's definitely somebody over there. Problem is, as soon as I look down, that's when they make a run for me. Definitely got a female closing in. I, I might have a crawler somewhere, too. I'm going to stab your ass. If it wasn't for the fact I needed the meat, I wouldn't even bother with this. But I definitely need the meat. Yeah, somebody's that way. Oh, there he is. Son of a bitch. Heard you creeping up. All right. Did I loot you? I did. You, sir. All right. There's somebody. Oh, there's fat boy. My God. Where are you guys coming from? Eh, no rotten meat, but whatever. Yeah, a couple of pills. My life. My life. My net. Oh, okay. I don't know where the hell you were. Oh, you freaking little bastard. Son of a bitch. You stuck right up on me. I hate crawlers. This is why I spend so much time digging out the freaking crap that's around my base. Why? Because you cannot see the crawlers in this big-ass grass because they're the same rough color. Noise the hell out of me. They're a little easier to see in the desert, a little. And they just send ones that are brown instead of freaking gray. All right. Now then, now then. Ah, oh, I did forget to do something. Oh, that's fine. I guess I can upgrade these windows a little bit, too. So it even it up a bit. I want to come over here and do a little work. Okay, I did all this. So for this, uh, the main reason I came over here right now is to throw a couple of these in. One there. One there. Let's get a little extra lighting in here. 
doesn't need to be a lot, just a little bit, you know, something in here. If I turn it off, it's still dark, so. Just uh, throw this right there. There we go. Keep the lights out so I can see where I need lights. Probably one right there. One in here. Just to light it up a bit. Throw one over here just for giggles. One right here. One by the entrance. Yeah, because artificial lights are crap. You know, they really are. All right, so the first thing we need to do is probably start digging around the house. Just a bit, just a bit. Start getting that. Now, I don't really care about this part. It's just going to be wood around here. But it'll work out. And I'm building some other stuff for this area. So that's a thing. Just keep going around. Oh, I love that there's concrete right here. I don't even have to put anything here. That's the actual bunker right there. So it works out. This way I can make sure it's just flooring or something. But. Okay. I do need more of these. So go ahead and give me a hundred more. That's a good start. Let's start pumping these bad boys in. This will expand out as we go. That's why I'm not worried about this little hole right here. That's fine. Need this so it's comfy to come around. You know, so it looks good. And again, it doesn't have to be high-ended. It's mainly just for comfort when walking on it. Don't worry, we're going to go around a couple of times. That's why I put the uh, markers out here, because we're going to go out that far. You know, uh, that's all going to be wood. And then where those are is going to be where the barrier is. And then from there, uh, we'll go out even further, dig down, put in spikes and stuff like that, and barbed wire fences on top. But why does this one not look right? One, two, three, four. Shouldn't this one be a little bit further? Probably figure it out later. All right, let's start up another row from here. Wouldn't mind getting this done, but I'm not going to worry too much about it being a problem. So, yeah, we can just do this. Hey, a little sand, a little stone, always good. Probably just want to do the first two rows. Leave it at that. And then we'll come out and do the rest in a bit. This is more of a side project right now. Not really super important, but it's a good start. I do love that there's a concrete bunker right under here. So I don't really have to worry about bad stuff happening. So no matter what, I know they can't get in there. These are actually really good to do use to bunkers because if I build my base around uh, my horde base around this, and for whatever reason, again console, uh, for whatever reason that uh, uh, they start breaking through, I can really just retreat into the bunker and 
hold off until the end of the night and then take care of them when they're not running at a million miles an hour. Might even put arrow slips down there just to get their attention. Yeah, there are arrow slits in the game. Might just be better to put freaking iron bars up, you know. You can shoot through those. Get a better view. There we go. You know, get it started up. Again, the tough part is going to be after you get the barrier up put in the actual uh, damage dealing portions. But yeah, you can see how far this is going to go. It's going to go right to there. You just got to make sure uh, it's about even, actually. And yeah, no, this is even. It just looks weird. And then this one, yeah. And then this will be where the wall is. So it should be one more out? What do you see? We're here, might as well, right? You got some time. I don't have the frames for it. Let me uh, go ahead and do that. There we go. Make sure I have the wood frames for this. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much where I wanted to be. Okay. There we go. And again, this is literally just flooring to be annoying. I could put down wooden plates too, but again, that's a little weird because they count as a full block, so annoying to use. They really are. They count as a full block. So they're kind of a pain in the ass to use. Because then when you stack something on it, you know, they float. Which is annoying. Okay, and then we can just throw this stuff in here. Not sure why I didn't want to place it there, but sure. No, there is one more between it. Okay. It's kind of why I was looking, because I think one of my corners is off. One of my wall, uh, my markers might be off. I think it's uh, the one on the road, actually. Yeah. I think the one on the road is off by one. So we'll check it as we go. You always want three to four. I prefer four because it gives me uh, options to put chests and stuff on the wall without pushing me into melee range. You know, because, oh, no, I guess that's right. Just didn't look it. No, that's correct. Okay. Had it right the first time. Go figure. Didn't think I did, but I do. Okay. Every day I do a little bit of this. When I don't get distracted by the numerous morons that spawn on the way over here. Again, this floor doesn't have to be perfect at all. It just needs to be wood. But the real meat and potatoes will be after we uh, fill in this. And I have roughly figured out what I'm going to do with it, but it has to be concrete all the way around. So that's why the marketing frames are here. So it's going to be concrete all the way around. Sorry. And I'm debating on what I want for the first two rows. I think they're going to be... Uh, I'm thinking poles, concrete poles. <laughs> Shut up, woman. I'm thinking concrete poles right here, and then on top we do uh, iron bars. 
iron bar is like two or three high, and then uh, just, cap it off. Here. Just, I have to decide what I want to do with the roof over just, here. I guess I should seal the up one side of this. I'll need two entrances. Probably not the best idea to have two entrances. Okay, we're gonna bop that out. Let's bop in the torch. Let's throw a little light on this side right here. There you go. I don't like that it's off center. Well, actually, that's fine. I think I can put one right here. Okay, and over here. This one right here, dude. Yeah, can't help it. All right, and, uh, this has its own light. That's fine for now. I'll figure it out later. Probably just going to rip that light out of there at some point. And it's good enough. It just needs to be like that. Anyways, that all set it up so I can see better. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace that light as much as I don't want to. Okay, let's go grab some spare wood in the little, a little time we got left. Grab any rocks I see lying around. These little... These little trees are not really good for anything. They don't give you seeds or nothing, but they give you a couple of hundred wood, so it's useful. And it gives me a chance to step on a cactus, which is always fun. Where am I at? Oh, 591, not a lot. I mean, I do have the tree farm, but really feel like uh, running the chainsaw this late at night, drawing the screamers early. Okay, you see they don't give uh, seeds, so they're kind of a waste. These trees, so. Knock them down when you see them. I got a double bird nest here. And uh, it was kind of crap, so yeah, there's that. Right here. I remember there's a cave around here, too. Probably should avoid that if all possible. I don't know why I decided to do that, but sure. Let me get some more crappy. Ah, look, I found a cactus. Uh, I got some more crappy trees over here. I'll get rid of them. Oh, I missed. There we go. It's almost 20 hundred. I'm going to start having a mosey very shortly. All right, let's see if we can find any more cacti up on this hill. Maybe. You never know. I'm good at finding crap like that. Oh, somebody made the tree slip. wonder who did that. Probably me. Uh, there's another crappy tree over here. We need to murder that. Not the easiest place to find birds' nests. Uh, easiest place by far is the burning biome. Uh, technically, the snow biome when it's not snowing, which is rare. Weather tends to go crappy over there. Yeah, these little trees aren't worth all that much. Yeah, it still got me back to 2K, but... Hey, look, I found that cactus. When the weather suddenly decides it doesn't want to play anymore, that's... Is that now? The only problem with this is it's going to give me seeds. Uh, we can just throw that out. I have hundreds of those. I mean, if you don't want to deal with it, just grab these guys. Conifers right here. Oh, look. Uh, I should get rid of this one because it's hiding the best girl. And the best girl did not put out today, sadly. She didn't. She did not. Murder some of these trees around here. That rock. That bird's nest. 
Eggs! I like it when you give me eggs. I need to actually cook up some more stuff, so... Maybe get creative and make some more food. What's that put me at? Ah, 4,800. Not bad. I just do this to do it sometimes. Thought I heard Fiti steps over that way. It's a rock. Not gonna say no to looks. Eh, I suppose we have to start moseying back, huh? Probably should put that on the to-do list. So take. Uh, how am I doing on space? Uh, get the fudge out of here. Also, use that. Yeah, use them both. And scrap that for me. There we go. Not a lot of, uh, you can get a lot of goodies there when it comes to, uh, zombies. They didn't really put out a lot. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So what's one of those, sometimes they don't. What is this, coal? No? Nitrate powder. We need that. Always need that. That's free uh, fertilizer later. Alright, it is 2023. 2024. Hey, it's current gear. I got a best girl over here and a rock, so. Hey, my medicine leveled up. This is why you use these. And medicine's a pain in the ass to level up, I'll say that specifically. It really is. There's just a little extra stone on the way back. Yeah, medicine is just, ugh, I hate that skill. Look, a free rock. And more eggs, that's what I'm talking about. Give me all the eggs. Okay, I need to start. Rolling my way back here. Not fall off the mountain of doom. Which is... Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going the wrong way. All right, I need to start waddling my fat butt down this hill. Getting back to base. Which is technically over that way. But I remember the... Uh, the terrain is a little crappy. So... Kind of want to mosey over this way. Yeah, see, I knew this was going to be a thing. That's why I was like, uh, no. See? Some of the terrain generation, sometimes, I tell you, gets a little bit wonky. This is one of the wonky times. Yeah, that goes up there, and it's a sheer drop. So There's a good way to bust your leg. So we'll just mosey this way kill anybody that's around if they decide to throw a little ruckus my way. How many stone did I walk out of that with? Eh, 429. Not amazing. It's only like 200 concrete, but whatever. It's 200 concrete I don't have to mine up. Because they don't have a mine uh, off my primary building base. But I do have enough resources to last through tonight. I think next episode we're going to take another trader run out and we're going to go crazy on sand. Hi. What are you doing out here? Oi. I think I got hung up on a rock. I think I got hung up on a rock. Whatever. More stuff I need. Okay, but yeah, we're dangerously getting close to the hour at hand, so we should really start moseying back before I attract unwanted attention. I knew I saw something interesting. I knew I saw something. I just didn't realize it was full of nothing. Whatever. All right, 2100. We're definitely in... Uh, countdown here, so let's get a move on. Yeah, they threw everything at me today. 
Uh, no wandering horde, but they did send a few dogs out for an adventure. So that was interesting. But it did prove, uh, it was proof of concept too, because they really did not get anywhere close to me. All right, let's take in what we're gonna take in. Let's see what we got that might need to go get sold. And take in the meat. You can hold on to the dirt. Grass, the feathers, yeah, probably take the bones in. Yeah, take this stuff in. And the fat. Always got to take the fat in. Keep the feathers. Nobody needs those. Take these in. And keep the rest of the crap out here, I think. And I don't really have a... See, I have plenty of stuff to sell. Look at this. Plenty of goodies to sell. So, we could definitely do another sale run. And then go... Oh, I should close the door, huh? I don't live in a barn. I usually just close these two. I don't worry about the hatch too much either. Well, I guess we got to end like we always end. Let's go out and take a look-see. See what we're dealing with. How it came out overnight. So, that is much better. That is much, much better. Yeah, and I might fix that. Later, is it? No, it's just something that. But yeah, see how much better that looks? And it'll look the same out this way, and then it'll be a nice cover around. Then this base will, with the exception of maybe some lighting over here, pretty much done. Be ready to party hardy and then just take those up. So, yeah. Should I, I might expose probably tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. See where I get on uh, the various stuff I need to do tonight, overnight. Okay, let's put some crap away. Actually, you know what? Why be lazy about it? Just put it over here. Uh, junk drawer. Uh, junk drawer says we have, eh, we could make 37 if we really wanted to. Okay. Just looking at what I got. Ah, I had I kind of figured I had something I didn't need in here. All right, and then let's go to food. Drop off the one can of food we got. Go back to medicine. Drop off a couple of pills we got, which are down here. I missed a thing of food because, of course, I did. And Sammy's go down here. Still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them, but keeping them for posterity. Uh... I guess we got some boom boom juice over here, so they can take that and that. And okay. It'll start firing everything up. Might as well turn this on now. Finish that crap up. Okay, let's go to the melties. And they just basically get this and this. And come on over here and you can have this and this. And this, and I'm going to take out this 40 eggs, so that'll do 30 meat. So let's grab both of these out. Go over to my bacon and eggs, max them out. We need 20 more bacon and eggs. Let's go ahead and drop off the meat again. Drop this clay off that I didn't pay attention to. Fire up everybody else. Here you turn one. You're at 1300. You're 1,200. More than enough to last the rest of the night Night on most of this stuff. Eh, stuff's doing okay. I'll probably have to replace the iron at some point. And this is another one I'm using. Yeah, so I definitely have enough stone to last the rest of the night. Got that up and running. Losing, losing uh get the stupid paper out of my inventory. Might as well drop off the uh, torches, too. I'm not going to use them at the moment. Yeah, see, the auger is a lot better. So I'm going to actually put the auger down here. And I'll put the gas down here, just so I don't forget them tomorrow. All right, so, and but as you can see, um, yeah, 
Yeah, kind of running low here. So, yeah. We're going to have to do a sand run no matter what. So that's definitely on the hit list. Let me check these boys. Uh, yeah, you guys can start making concrete. Don't worry, we're going to end the episode here very shortly. Let's see, this is another thousand concrete. So, be good to go. And skip you guys for the mole. There we go. Okay, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. We're playing Seven Days to Die, Valencia. If you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. I do upload every day. Have a great day, guys. I'll catch you in the next vid. Bye now.